Hey guys and welcome back to Misha's Corner. So today I'll be making an easy, simple meat and cheese lasagna. So let's get started. Alright guys, so on my table so far I have six large cloves chopped garlic and one whole large white onion. So we're going to add this to the meat mixture that I already started. I'm about to show it to you guys. Alright guys, this is my meat mixture right here. I have ground turkey and I have some ground sausage. We want to break this up and brown it up. You can use beef if you prefer, but I'm using ground turkey and ground sausage. Alright guys, so for the second filling, you're going to need some ricotta cheese right there. I'm using part skim milk. You're going to need two eggs, some fresh grated parmesan cheese, and some fresh parsley, salt, pepper, and chili flakes. Alright you guys, so now I'm going to add my onions down in here. Uh, my onions and my garlic right down in the pot. You're also going to add some dried basil. You can use fresh if you want. I'm also going to be using fresh but not at this point. I'm also going to add some red chili flakes with some heat. Remember, all ingredient measurements is always on my website, and the link is always in my description box. Mix this up and allow the onions to cook down and become translu translucent. And then we're going to add the tomato sauce, or marinara sauce, whatever you want to call it. And then that's pretty much it for the meat. I already added salt and pepper in here. If you are using sausage, make sure you watch, it, watch your salt. Alright, so I have all the other ingredients down in here. Now I'm going to add my ricotta cheese. Ooh, look at me. Doing it all hard. I almost broke the container. <laughs> so you're going to mix this in really, really well. Clearly I probably should have used... I think I'm good. I think I'm good. You don't have to use parsley in this step. You could definitely use basil. Again, you'll see what I do with my fresh basil. This is pretty easy. You can't ruin it. Everyone have different methods of making things, and this is just the way I want to make it. And that's it. It's perfect. Alright, so now you're going to take your marinara sauce. I'm just going to pour it right down in there. I'm probably only going to use one jar. I don't like the meat filling part of it to be too runny. So I'm just going to use one. I'm going to mix this in, cover it, and allow it to simmer for at least 20 minutes. Alright you guys, so I have my noodles right here nice and boiled and cooled. I did not rinse my noodles. I recommend not rinsing them, but everyone's different. Um, right here I have my fresh basil. As I told you guys, I'm going to basically rough chop it or probably even tear it and put it in between each layer. The cheeses that I'll be using, I found this mozzarella and parmesan shredded craft cheese. And I'm also going to use a little bit, not a little bit, I'm going to use some shop cheddar. A lot of people don't like cheddar in their lasagna. You don't have to use it. You can use straight parm and mozz, which is fine. Alright you guys, time to layer this up in the pan so far. I greased it with some butter. You can grease it with spray, whatever you want. I have some of my meat mixture just lightly in the bottom. Then you're going to take your noodles and start lining your pan with your noodles. Slightly, slightly by the least overlapping each other. Because you want them to connect. So like right by the ridges. That's where you want them to connect. I only used one box of noodles. And it should be enough for this kind of pan. Always make sure your base is right before you, you know, move on to the next step. What I like to do is I like to sprinkle on a little bit of cheese. Because I want everything to stay tight and together before I add the meat on top. A tiny bit of my basil. Just finessing it. What you're doing is just trying to finesse your lasagna. 
because of how you want it to take it out the pan and look presentable. Then you're going to go in here with your meat. I'm going to use half of your meat because I'm actually going to do a whole level of just the ricotta cheese. So, two levels of meat, one whole level of ricotta cheese. I want to spread it out, make sure it's even. And you're going to go back in here with some of your cheese, your parm, mozzarella, and cheddar. Remember guys, you can layer this however you prefer. This is just the way I want it, so that's why I'm doing it this way. Then you're going to get some more fresh basil. I didn't cook my basil. Yeah, I guess I should explain. I didn't cook my basil down with my meat because I feel like the longer you cook fresh herbs, the less you're going to taste them in your food. And I'd rather just put it in there, just straight up put it in there. So you can have that nice flavor of it. Alright, so now I'm going to go back in here again with another layer of noodles. Basically repeating the process. Alright guys, so now we're going to add our ricotta down in here. Like I said, the ricotta is getting this whole, the middle, basically the middle section. My pan is basically almost full, but <laughs> I'm going to make it work. Get all your ricotta mixture down in there. Alright, I'm going to spread this out and then I'll come back once I get to the last level. Because I'm basically going to cover this with more cheese and noodles than the meat for the last layer. Alright guys, you're going to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. I'm going to pop this into the oven covered without the cheese on top for about 45 minutes and then I'm going to add the cheese, remove the cover and bake it off for another 15 minutes so in total it's going to be in there for about an hour. So this thing looks so beautiful. So beautiful. If you follow me on Instagram, which most of you guys do not, you will know who I'm exactly who I'm making this lasagna for. Basically, y'all be my business. <laughs> but because y'all don't follow me on social media, y'all don't catch the tea. But, uh, yeah. So now I'm going to cover this up. Pop it in the oven. 45 minutes. Uncover it. Add the cheese on top. And 15 more minutes. And then it should be done. Alright, y'all. So I just took the lasagna out the oven. I actually let mine stay in there for almost an hour. Mainly because I was busy doing house chores. But... <laughs> Um, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Ooh wee. So it's set up pretty, pretty good. So I'm, oh, my bad y'all. So I'm pretty happy with it. So now what's going to happen is I'm going to chop up some fresh parsley, mix it in with the cheese, spread it on top so it could be nice and pretty. And then we're going to pop it back in there so the cheese could get nice and melted and we're going to let it chill. Alright guys, so this is the cheese right here after I mixed it in with the fresh parsley. As you can see, it's nice and pretty. Now you're just going to put it all over the top of your lasagna. And I guess the hardest part for people to do is to actually wait for this to cool off and relax before you can actually eat it. Um, mine is going to be sitting. Well, not sitting, but by the time they pick it up, it will be nice and rested. So you want to let this rest at least an hour, guys. Like, give it an hour. Give it a chance to breathe, a chance to come together, solidify, so that when you cut into it, it won't be all over the place and you get to see that nice presentation that you worked so hard for. So you're going to pop this right back into the oven, melt the cheese, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Ooh, y'all, look at this lasagna. Look at this lasagna. <laughs> hopefully um i'm gonna see if i could get a chance to see that's why i keep telling y'all to follow me on social media because most likely i'll be able to get a picture from her and then i could post it on my instagram but um 
yeah make sure you check out my instagram follow me it's misha's corner underscore misha's on the underscore corner um yeah so follow me and i hope you guys try this recipe if you do tag me take pictures let me know what you think and i see you guys next time on my next video please don't forget to check the description box everything is below and i'll see you guys next time bye guys